Hey guys, this is Andre with the Andre Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. This is a self-improvement channel where I document and educate my audience on what I've experienced in the military, the health and fitness rules that I live by, the self-improvement books that I've read, and the travel destinations that I recommend. Subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with new great content every week. All right, welcome back to my channel, the Andre Lifestyle. Today, I'm gonna be talking about what happens after you graduate Coast Guard Boot Camp. What are the immediate steps that you need to take that needs to take place, right? Okay. Number one, what's gonna happen is right after you graduate, you're gonna say hello to your family, hugs, kisses, tears of joy, right? And then your family's gonna to wanna to take pictures in front of, I don't know monuments and shit and you've been there for eight weeks trust me my parents wanted to i was like hell no let's get the f out of this place which we did immediately got all my stuff got in the car depending on whether you did uh let me see five if you took five days of leave or two days of leave or one day of leave or zero days of leave uh, that will determine when you need to be at your first duty station, right? Take your five days of leave, all right? I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone in my class took their five days of leave. After you went through what we went through, you're gonna wanna take your five days of leave, all right? So we took our, I took my five days of leave and um, immediately we I drove back to Virginia, where I'm from, um, and you know, just chilled out with family for those five days, prepared myself, um, met up with some some old friends that haven't seen me in a while, blah, 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 okay? Fixed my hairline, because they jack it up when you go to Coast Guard Boot Camp. And uh, yeah, so then after those five days, depending on what duty station you were assigned to, they're gonna give you a certain amount of time to get there, right? So I took my five days of leave, and then I had, I was stay, I, my first duty station was Miami, Florida, right? So then on top of those five days of leave, I had six more days to finally get there. So I had plenty of time, right, to get there and prepare and plan out what I was gonna do. I think after four days of leave or whatever, you know, I told my myself, you know what, I wanna go there a little bit early and I want to, you know, have a few days to myself in Miami, Florida, which I did do, all right? So eventually, I made it down there. I drove down there, 16 hour drive from Virginia. Made it down there, um, two days, right? So after my four days, it was six days, and then I, all together, I had 11 days. So we all know what I did that first night when I got there. Anyways, so, a great time. Eventually, when I got there, um, uh, not the day of, I think the day before I was supposed to report to my first duty station, I called up my chief and I let him know that I was was there. He told me, all right. And uh, he told me what was expected of me, what I needed to show up with, and uh, the paperwork. Uh, in Coast Guard boot camp, they give you all this paperwork with all your medical information and just you know your certificate of of graduate of you uh, proof that you graduated boot camp, right? So you're gonna have that with you. You're gonna be in your dress blues, you know, depending on where you go. If, if you obviously if you go to Alaska, you're not gonna be in in your short sleeve trops. You know, what I mean, you're gonna be in long sleeve and with a jacket and stuff, right? So depending on where you go, they're gonna let you know where what is expected of you, what uniform you need to be in. I was in traps, I'm in my end, all right? So I uh, arrived there, talked to my, I met up with my chief, and uh, we just went through all my paperwork. That whole first day is nothing but meeting some of the crew, um, getting all your paperwork out of the way. And when I say paperwork, like your health insurance, if you're married, your marriage certificate, um, just just basically assigning you your, your room 
for the night. You're, you know, if you're single, you're gonna be in the barracks, obviously. If you're married, you're going to immediately be given time um, to go find a place to live. They're gonna begin the um, BAH, basic housing allowance for you. So you can, you know, give your deposit to the apartment complex that of your choosing, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, and then that that's it. That's literally what's all. That's all that's gonna happen. So I've gotten this question about about this topic. You know, some people are kind of nervous about what's gonna happen next. Um, I was excited. I was ready, ready to go. Let's do this. And one thing immediately that I realized when I first got to my first duty station is it's nothing like boot camp. So in boot camp, you're like a robot, you know what I mean? You have to salute, you have to stay in a position of attention, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm not saying slack off when you get there immediately, but um, it's a lot more, what I'm trying to say is that it's a lot more chill environment. Like everything's cool. Like relax, you know. Still show respect to your chief, obviously, and your petty first uh, first class petty officer. Um, yeah, I mean, it's easy, easy stuff, and uh, you're gonna fit right in, and everything's gonna be okay. All right. So I hope that this video was helpful to any of you watching. If it was. Please give, the, please give this video a thumbs up, please uh, subscribe to my channel, share this video, comment on this video, any questions you may have. I also um, am trying to do this thing where um, I do one-on-ones with people, people that are, you know, might need a little bit more help, um, that are kind of worried about Coast Guard Boot Camp, because it is difficult, it's not easy, and um, Anyone that tells you it is, is a liar. Because it was not easy. And it's not easy for the reasons that you would think. It, it completely took me off of off guard. So if you guys want to have a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can email me at the Andre Lifestyle um, at gmail.com. The Andre Lifestyle at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at the Andre Lifestyle. Um, I'll provide the links uh, to my Instagram in the description below. Again, thank you for the support, everyone. Please shooting me some shoot shoot, shoot me some more uh, questions uh, so I can make more videos. And uh, I apologize that I made a video in like a month, <laughs> but uh, just busy with with life. But um, try to be a little bit more consistent. And I appreciate the constant support. As always, please live the lifestyle that you want to live. Peace.